We all have fears. Some are primal, like the fear of heights or spiders. Others are more complex, rooted in our experiences and insecurities. Financial fear is one such beast, a silent monster that lurks in the shadows of our minds, whispering doubts about our ability to manage money, build wealth and secure our future. This fear is universal. It transcends age, income and background. Whether you're a student grappling with loans, a young professional navigating the job market, or a seasoned worker planning for retirement, financial anxieties can creep in, casting a shadow over your aspirations and limiting your potential. The good news is, financial fear can be conquered. Like any fear, understanding its root causes is the first step towards overcoming it. Once we shed light on these anxieties, we can start building a robust financial foundation, brick by brick, paving the way for a more secure and prosperous future. What are some of the financial fears that keep you up at night? Debt, a heavy word that evokes a sense of burden and obligation, is perhaps the most common financial fear. It can feel like an anchor, weighing you down and hindering your progress. Student loans, credit card bills, mortgages, they all contribute to that overwhelming feeling of being trapped in a financial quagmire. The fear of debt is deeply rooted in the uncertainty it brings. It's not just about the present burden of monthly payments, but the fear of falling behind, facing penalties and damaging your credit score, impacting your future financial prospects. This fear can paralyze you, making it harder to take control and manage your finances effectively. But remember, Debt is not a life sentence. Millions have navigated their way out of debt and achieved financial freedom. It requires a clear understanding of your financial situation, a commitment to change, and a solid plan to tackle your debt systematically. Are you letting debt dictate your financial decisions? In an era of instant gratification and a culture of keeping up with the Joneses, saving money can feel like an uphill battle. The constant bombardment of advertising and the allure of instant purchases can make it challenging to prioritize long-term financial goals over immediate desires. This leads to another common fear, the fear of not saving enough. This fear gnaws at you, whispering doubts about your financial preparedness for unexpected events, long-term goals like buying a home or retiring comfortably, and even your ability to handle everyday expenses. But here's the truth. Saving is not about deprivation. It's about making conscious choices, understanding your priorities, and building a secure financial cushion for the future. Even small, consistent savings can accumulate over time, creating a financial buffer that provides peace of mind and empowers you to achieve your goals. How comfortable are you with your current level of savings? The world of investing can seem daunting, even terrifying for many. The fear of losing hard-earned money, the complexity of financial markets, and the constant fluctuations in asset prices can make investing feel like a risky gamble, reserved only for the financially savvy. This fear often stems from a lack of understanding. Investing is not about getting rich quick or chasing the latest hot stock tip. It's about making informed decisions, diversifying your portfolio, and adopting a long-term perspective to grow your wealth steadily over time. The key is to overcome the fear of the unknown by educating yourself. Start with the basics, understand different asset classes, and explore investment options that align with your risk tolerance and financial goals. Remember, the biggest risk is not investing at all, but letting your money lose value to inflation. Are you letting fear keep you on the sidelines of the investment game? Understanding the root of your financial fears is the first step, but action is what separates fear from freedom. Confronting your financial anxieties head-on requires a proactive approach, a shift from passive worry to active management. Start by acknowledging your fears. Don't try to bury them or pretend they don't exist. Write them down, articulate them clearly, and understand how they're impacting your financial decisions. This self-awareness is crucial for developing a tailored strategy to address your specific concerns. Next, equip yourself with knowledge. Financial literacy is your most powerful weapon against fear. Read books, attend workshops, consult with financial advisors, and leverage the wealth of information available online. 
The more you understand, the less intimidating your financial journey becomes. What concrete steps can you take today to address your biggest financial fear? A budget is not about restriction, it's about empowerment. It's a financial roadmap that guides you towards your goals, ensuring you're allocating your resources effectively and making conscious choices about your spending. Start by tracking your income and expenses diligently. Use budgeting apps, spreadsheets or good old-fashioned pen and paper, whatever works best for you. Once you have a clear picture of your cash flow, you can identify areas where you can cut back unnecessary expenses and redirect those funds towards your financial priorities. Remember, a budget is a living document, not a set in stone decree. It requires regular review and adjustments as your income, expenses and goals evolve. The key is to find a budgeting method that fits your lifestyle and commit to making it a regular part of your financial routine. Have you embraced the power of budgeting to gain control of your finances? Tackling debt can feel overwhelming, like facing a mountain of financial obligations. The debt snowball method offers a simple yet effective strategy to chip away at your debt and build momentum towards financial freedom. Start by listing all your debts from smallest to largest, regardless of interest rates. Focus all your extra funds on paying off the smallest debt first while making minimum payments on the others. Once the smallest debt is cleared, roll that payment amount onto the next smallest debt, creating a snowball effect as you gain momentum. This method provides a psychological boost, celebrating each small victory as you conquer one debt at a time. The sense of accomplishment fuels your motivation, making the debt repayment process less daunting and more achievable. What debt can you start tackling with the debt snowball method today? Saving is not just about putting aside large sums of money. It's about cultivating a habit of consistent contributions, no matter how small. These small steps, when taken consistently, can lead to significant results over time. Automate your savings by setting up regular transfers from your checking account to your savings account. Treat these transfers like non-negotiable expenses, ensuring you're consistently building your financial cushion. Explore high-yield savings accounts or money market accounts that offer better interest rates compared to traditional savings accounts. These small differences in interest can compound over time, boosting your savings growth. What small but impactful change can you make to supercharge your savings? Investing is not just for the wealthy or financially savvy, it's a powerful tool for growing your wealth over time and you can start small, gradually building your knowledge and confidence. Explore low-cost index funds or exchange-traded funds, ETFs, that offer diversified exposure to a basket of stocks or bonds. These options provide a simple and cost-effective way to participate in the stock market without needing to pick individual stocks. Remember, investing is a long-term game. Don't get swayed by short-term market fluctuations or the allure of quick profits. Focus on building a diversified portfolio that aligns with your risk tolerance and long-term financial goals. What's stopping you from taking the first step towards building your investment portfolio? Financial education is an ongoing journey, not a destination. The more you learn about personal finance, the more empowered you become to make informed decisions, navigate financial challenges and achieve your goals. Embrace the abundance of resources available today. Read books, listen to podcasts, attend webinars and consult with financial advisors. Continuously expand your knowledge, staying updated on financial trends and strategies. Remember, financial literacy is not just about numbers and budgets. It's about understanding the psychology of money, developing a healthy relationship with your finances and cultivating a mindset of abundance and growth. What financial topic are you curious about and where can you seek more information?